Hey everyone and welcome back to another Flow Ninja video. In this one, we're gonna be going over the final kind of way you can integrate HubSpot with Webflow with an action link. So let's jump straight into it. So this is probably the, my least favorite way to integrate the HubSpot forms because it's really easy to fail and kind of to not pass the data you need. So, but if for some reason some of your clients still want to have something like that kind of on your side, I mean to, that your client is insisting on you adding the action links, um, this is an option you can do. So basically we've added a form here, you see that we have kind of some sort of a design. Uh, we made sure that we have full name, we have email. We have text area, we have some kind of radio buttons here. Uh, the thing that we found out that checkboxes and also kind of um, select fields are not going to be working with this method because they're not going to be uh, sending from Webflow to HubSpot in the end. Um, then the final thing is going ahead and adding the post here. So because the method needs to be on the post uh, and changing the name of the kind of, of the form that just that you know which form it is. Then you're going to go to your account, you're going to go to settings, you're going to go to tracking and analytics and then find the tracking code here. After finding it, you can copy it over, go to project settings of, of, the, of the website and just paste in that uh, kind of tracking code and just paste in the tracking code here um, that you're gonna be using. So after that's done, you can go ahead and save, um, publish everything and go to the website itself. And after typing in Urosh, Urosh at flow.ninja, test and let's submit this. We're gonna be able to submit, see the Webflow thank you message. So you can edit the thank you message in Webflow. Sometimes it's gonna also let you to publish the form and to post it even without some custom validation Even though you should not be able to publish the form So just make sure that that works as expected and then we're gonna be able to go to our marketing We're gonna be able to go to forms uh, You're gonna see that it's automatically gonna create a WF action link form So that's gonna be like based on the form you have you're gonna see that you're gonna create an action uh, action link form itself. So we wanna go ahead to that form, advanced information. Let me just go ahead and figure out how to see the submissions. Details, you see that I've just submitted here and this is my lead, view submission. So you see that this is working. But when we did a test, like we tried adding a great terms of service uh, kind of newsletter, select a product with a select field, we found out that those fields cannot be passed with an action link. So that's why when doing any sort of a little bit more advanced form, this way is not going to be the ideal way to connect it to Webflow. But you just know that you still have it and that can be one of the ways if the client doesn't want to use Zapier but has a pretty simple integration, this is going to be the great use case. But probably the most uh, kind of comprehensive use cases are the enterprise form and also the uh, kind of the embedding a raw, raw HTML form on that level. So if you have some tips and you've started using uh, these forms, feel free to share it over with us. We're going to be more than happy to continue building up this resource more and more as the time progresses. Uh, and basically just kind of uh, having the ultimate resource for any sort of HubSpot integration with Webflow and hopefully uh, up applying many more of these with Marketo, with uh, MailChimp and, and many other. Because this is a big part of NoCode, it's actually kind of integrating all of these tools and I feel like that there is not enough kind of resources on the web for those. So um, until next video, uh, saying bye from Flow Ninja. Bye bye.